Good morning. This is my sweaty, bad hair day. My poof won't do what I want it to do. But this is my spa sparkle look. I am headed to Richmond today. Um, I will, I'm running behind, which, you know, if you know me, what else is new? Um, I will check in then, but have a sparkle day. Sparkle, sparkle. And we're driving down Richmond Road, getting ready to get onto the interstate. My makeup looks like mud. Uh, I'm hoping it's just the lighting. I don't have enough time to turn around and go back. Um, this is very close to distracted driving for me, so this is just not something I'm comfortable with doing. Um, so, I will talk to you later. And we are in Richmond. And I went the right direction. I always mess up usually, and this time I did not. Um, I'm just kind of holding the camera because I can't keep looking at you. That just that's taking too much off the road. I have to get a little thingy if I'm going to do this to stick it on my dashboard. I'm going to stop this so I can pan you around to show you where we're going to be at. Today is a chemo day for my dad. Um, and I, it's a wonderful day. And yeah, the poof has died. Uh, we'll fix it later, I guess. I don't know. I can't walk and fix my poof. Um, usually dad's parked right over and through there. So that's why I kind of, and I was looking for the car. But anyway, we are here. Um, gonna go inside, greet them. I haven't seen them in like, feels like forever. I haven't seen them since Christmas. Um, but yeah, I may take some pictures. Don't know that I'll vlog, but hey. Hi. Um, I know you can't see anything but my rear view mirror. I just needed to talk a little bit and I can't quite, um, merging onto the interstate and I can't quite hold the phone and yeah we finished with another treatment for my dad today uh, thankfully um, for him things are good as well as they can be with his condition um, but while we were there another lady came out she was in a wheelchair and very upset and I can't imagine what she must be feeling she was told today that there was no more that the doctor could do for her and my heart just breaks for her um, after a little bit of wiggling um, we call that disobedience but I went and had mom and I went and had a word of prayer with her and I just can't get her out of my mind because although you know in a, in a short time um, she'll go on to her heavenly reward it's still a sadness and a heartbreaking for that family that very soon her life is going to be over here on earth and I just had to you know we're we're not there yet and I can't imagine how being there feels but at the same time that I'm thankful and grateful and blessed. I'm asking that if you pray um, or positive energy or whatever it is, I didn't get the lady's name, but if you could send it her way, I'm sure that family would appreciate it. Um, it just brings to life, brings to light 
you know, this life is but a vapor. It could be gone just like that. Um, so make each day count. You know, part of part of my sparkle, part of everything to do with sparkle, has to do with making life count. Um, dealing with pain is not an easy thing. Dealing with depression is not an easy thing. Um, reach out to the people that are close to you, that you have. Um, tell them that you love them today. If you have a friend that you haven't talked to in a while, talk to them today. Um, don't let, don't let another day pass because it could be one day too late. Um, I'm very thankful that I went back today with my dad. Um, I plan to come back. He has another appointment coming up in a couple of weeks. I plan to start being back with him. Um, I had I stopped going because of my health and I had to get me better. Um, but it was, had a wonderful visit with my mom, had a pretty, had a good visit with my dad. Um, a short visit because I got here I got here later than I intended to but um, just seeing and one lady came out very happy because they think that her cancer may have shrank um, she's one of the ladies that have been coming um, almost as long as dad uh, I don't uh, I don't really know their names. I just remember their faces from seeing them. You know, they're, generally their treatments fall at the same time as, as dads do. And, you know, then there's some that you see and you don't see them again. And, you know, it's just the, the reality. Again, like I said, um, life is so precious. And if you're healthy, be thankful and grateful. If you're not healthy, be thankful and grateful because it could be worse. Um, I can't imagine, you know, the only thing that they could do for this, for the lady that was told that she, there was no more hope for her, no more treatment for her. All they could do was flush her port. Um, that's all. And it's just heartbreaking um, and she'd suffered so much um, you know with chemo and radiation her hair was gone the radiation had burnt her head it's just it's so heartbreaking and so I ask that you send, send prayers and good thoughts and whatever it, that positive her way and pray for the family as she makes this transition and they make the transition um, they're going to have a new normal very soon. Um, I don't know if it's going to be weeks or months or whatever. Um, it's the cancer is all it's in her brain. It's all over her. So um, just based on what she talked with us about, um, I don't think it will be very very long. But I pray that you know her suffering is minimal. Um, and. Although I'll probably never see her on this side, I'll see her on the other. Um, but that's all that I've got for right now, and I just needed to talk to somebody and share that with, with somebody. And, well, you guys are here. That's what the free therapy is all about. Um, and I thank you for listening and watching. And I'm sorry that it had to just be a view of my rearview mirror and kind of, I don't know exactly what you got, maybe some sky um, but we're traveling down the interstate going back to Lexington um, this is the hard part of being a grown-up because my parents are going south um, it gets harder and harder to leave um, but anyway 
I just wanted to pop on here and say that I'm going to stop this because there's quite a bit of traffic and, and as I said earlier um, it's very close to distracted driving for me and my attention needs to be on the road so I will I have to stop before I go home um, or get home so I will pop back in thanks so much and we're back home yes my lipstick is coming off my poof is a mess and the rest of everything is about expired too for today's look um thank you for going along with me today um welcome to my world uh, as i said before my dad has cancer um thank you for joining in on this journey um And if you haven't, um, StandUpToCancer.com or .org, I think it is, go there. American Cancer Society, go there. Read up. Educate yourself. I noticed as my dad was checking out that there were some hats someone had crocheted um, or knit. I'm not sure. And I thought, wow, what a cool ideal. Um, it never occurred to me. Um, but that's something, you know, if you knit, crochet, or anything like that, that you could do. Um, and, you know, it doesn't have to be for a specific person. Um, there were several, I think maybe three or four in the, in the basket. And that way they could just kind of pick. And, um... It, you know, some women may choose not to wear a hat or something like that or a wig during their treatment, but it's winter time. Um, they do need something to help keep them warm. So, just going to throw that out there. I'm tired. I'm going to eat. I ate four bananas. I ran in Kroger's and got bananas to do me through today to, and tomorrow. Um missing my morning bananas and rationing the last few days um i could really tell a difference but anyway i'm hungry i'm tired and i have some things to take care of so i'm going to end this and my phone is almost dead and it's charging as i'm doing this so i'm gonna let it charge um and i'm gonna have a bite to eat and then i'll piece this together and upload it and again thank you so very much um uh, I keep thinking there's something else I should say after that, but um, other than the usual routine of, you know, subscribe to my channel, like the video, thumbs up, you know, I'm tired today um, and just very emotional. Uh, my heart just still, I can't imagine. Um, the feeling of being told that there's no further treatment, there's no more hope. So, you know, again, like I said before, please keep that woman in your prayers and thoughts um, and that family are getting ready to go through a very difficult ordeal. Um, but have a good day. It's another chemotherapy treatment for dad in the books. Um, I'll keep you posted on that. Uh, tomorrow, I think, is... I, I know I've got to go and get litter because, oh my gosh, litter pans are yicky and need changed. But we'll, go th we'll do all of that tomorrow. Um, and... I'm going to try either tomorrow or the next day to go down to the nursing home and visit some with Les. And I'll try to get some pictures or video or something like that with the two of us. Um, but I hope that everything is good in your world. Um, I'm noticing that my eyeshadow has kind of said, we're done. <laughs> Increasing and craziness. And it's okay. Um it's the end of the it's the end of the day for me. I'll be taking it off soon, um, but you know, this is the real world.
This is my life. Um, have a good day. See you. Bye.